you. There's a new lawsuit now claiming that California's two biggest university systems owe students a refund during the public health crisis. At issue is the mandatory student campus fees. Mike Tissell is joining us live on campus of Sac State to explain why some say the universities have no right to keep that money. Mike. And good morning, Ty and Deirdre. We're live outside uh, the University Union here at Sac State, and this is a good visual way to demonstrate this story. The issue is the fact that, well, campuses are closed. Students really can't get to do much on campus, and that is really at the heart of this lawsuit. The lawsuit, a class action lawsuit filed on behalf of more than 700,000 students, now demanding refunds for mandatory student fees. The lawsuit contends that because campuses are closed and athletic events canceled, students simply cannot access campus related services that they've already paid for. Here at Sac State, those mandatory student fees, they cost upwards of $838. And at UC Davis, the campus fees much higher, topping over $3,000. Attorneys argue it simply is just unfair to not offer at least a partial refund uh, for those students who are unable to access any of those campus related programs that are funded by those fees. Now back out here live, we have not yet heard of a response from either of the university systems just yet, but this is not a new uh, legal challenge during this public health emergency. Similar lawsuits already filed in Arizona and Virginia focused on the exact same thing, seeking at least a partial refund for fees that are now paying for things that students can't even access. Live on the campus of Sac State, Mike Sell, KCR Ray 3 News. They bring up some good points, Mike. Thank you.